Las Meninas was painted by Diego Velazquez in 1656. Velazquez was the prime artist of the Siglo de Oro, Spanish Golden Age. The Spanish Golden Age was a flourishing period of art and literature in Spain, with its political rise under the Catholic monarchs of Spain and Spanish Habsburgs. The main patron during this age was King Philip, who reigned from 1556 to 1598. King Philip admired Velazquez's portraits that ranged from statesmen, clergymen, aristocrats across Europe. One of Velazquez's most famous paintings is Las Meninas for its complex and mystifying composition which makes people question illusion and reality and the ambiguous connection between the viewer and the figures. It can be said we are seeing a painting of a painting in front of, in front of the viewer. The background in this painting is dark while the light is focused on the middle little girl wearing white. In the foreground closest to the viewer is a dog and right along the side of him are the rest of the girls. To the left front is a large canvas and a, and a painter staring at the viewer, almost as if the viewer interrupted them since they are all staring out back to us. In the back, the wall, where everything is dark, there is a mirror, where it is reflecting what the painter is painting. Even though the colors are dull, the light is playing an important role in spotlighting. It is believed that the painting is showing the main chamber in Royal Alcazar of Madrid where it is capturing the moment in a snapshot. His paint strokes show fabric detail and all the dresses and sleeves which show motion because of the way he portrays light onto them. Velasquez had made modifications as he was painting, one of which was he originally had his head to the right and is now to his left. The canvas was also cut shorter. In the painting there is number one, who was Infanta Margaret. Teresa, King Philip's and Mariana's only surviving child. She has a beautiful white dress with pink flowers in the middle, and interestingly enough, she is in all white. Her skin is pale and her hair is a pale yellow, which heightens her importance to this painting. Another way she is showing importance is the way everyone is surrounding her with the attention of the two meninas. To the right is a menina who is a personal assistant to the court. Number two is Doña Maria Agustina, Sarmentino de Sotomayor. Another menina is offering Teresa a drink, who is number three. Number four is a German Mari Balbalos. Number five is Italian Nicolas Bertuso, who is petting the Mastiff. Behind the girls is number six, Doña Maracela de Uya, who is the princess's chaperone that is talking to a, body a bodyguard, who is number seven. Number eight is Don Jose Nito Velasquez, who may have been a relative to the artist. Some art critics can't tell if he had just come down the stairs or is going up. As mentioned before, light plays an important role. Because the way the light is shining where Nieto is, it is creating depth in the painting and showing how big the room was. So, the doorway is creating a vanishing point. Number 9 is Diego Velasquez himself. He is looking up past the canvas. On his chest is a noticeable red cross, that is, the Order of Santiago. Order of Santiago was a religious and military order in the 12th century. So Velasquez actually received the Order of Santiago three years later. And it was originally not painted on him right there and then. It was until Velasquez's death, which was ordered by King Philip, or perhaps painted by King Philip, that he had gotten the red cross on him. Even though the painting is not considered a self-portrait, he had put himself in it to perhaps show his importance to the court and how he was a high rank artist. He was later ranked to Chamberlain of the Palace and had decorated the palace where his paintings take place in the painting that he has chosen for his studio. Number 10 is King Philip and number 11 is Mariana. They are shown in the reflection of the mirror. Some say the viewers are King Philip and Mariana as everyone else is looking at them. Or, the viewer is next to King Mariana and everyone is staring at the viewer because the Meninas are staring directly towards them as if they had just come out of nowhere. The third view is that the viewer is King Philip and Mariana, but everyone else is staring at someone else. All the little girls are there to make the presence peaceful and neutral instead of complete awkwardness.